This is a lesson on using named ranges um, to calculate tax and shipping in a table. Um, we're not going to handle data validation just yet. Um, that'll come in a later lesson. So what we're starting with here is we're starting with a basic invoice, very small, only three items. Of course, yours will be much longer. Um, I've already put in formulas here for total. Um, of course, the total is A6 times C6, the cost times the quantity. Same thing here, of course. Our subtotal is just going to be a sum of the <coughs> totals for each thing. And the total total, of course, is going to be the subtotal plus the tax plus the shipping, which is a sum of D9 to D11. Well, the first thing we're going to do is create a named range um, that we're going to use in our VLOOKUP table. Uh, what I've done already is created on sheet number two here a tax and shipping table. And we're going to use this to create our formula in cell D10 and D11. So the idea here is that somebody's going to type in a state name like CA or OR and it'll automatically fill in the tax and shipping for us. Let's see how this is done. What we're going to do is we're going to select the table, just the data in the table, not the names at the top, not the labels for the columns, but the data here. And what you're going to do is you're going to give this table a name. In this case, we're going to call it the tax and, oops, tax and shipping. Now the one thing I said oops about was that I had put a space in here. In the words, you can have no spaces in your name table. Tax and shipping, all is one word. Caps or lowercase, doesn't really matter. So once you're done with that, you go ahead and press enter, and it will now accept that name. We can go somewhere else. Anytime you choose tax and shipping from the name dropdown, it'll take you back to your table. Okay, that's one advantage. The next advantage is going to be using it in the VLOOKUP. Of course, the VLOOKUP formula has three main arguments. So we'll start out with equals, VLOOKUP, parentheses always. First thing is, what are we looking up? Well, we're going to look up the name of the state. In this case, it's D3. Now we have a comma to separate the second argument from the first. And we're going to call this the tax and tax and shipping, which is the name of our table. And then finally, what column the tax was in. In this case, I remember it was in the second column. Let me go ahead and go back and review that for you. The three sections is what we're looking for we're looking, excuse me, what our data starts with, our input is D3, what table we're looking it up in, and then the column where the answer is found, or the output if you want to call it that. I'll press enter, and we're going to get an NA because we don't have a state put in here. Let's go ahead and put in a state like OR. When I press enter, if everything's gone right, we'll have the tax, six cents on $12. Go to sheet two. Remember our table name was right. It is tax and shipping. And I said column two. And this is column two, the tax rate. Of course, I goofed, right? It's not the tax rate that we want to put there. We want to put the tax amount there. Let's go back and modify the formula. Instead of column two, our answer is going to be in column three. Now let's see what we get. Ah, 72 cents. Going back to the table, yes, that makes a good amount of sense. Tax amount, 72, that's 6% of what we said it was, $12 here. Okay. And that's it. Now, to do the last one, the shipping, it's going to be the same thing pretty much. So equals VLOOKUP, the input, which is the name of the state, the name of the table, And finally, the column where the output or the answer is going to be found. In this case, it's going to be column 4. I remember that from before. So when I press enter, ha, huh, $7. Let's go back and check that. Column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. Yes, that is where the shipping is found. 
in our little table that we had created. Remember, the table is called tax and shipping. And now that we have that, we can put in any amounts that we want to. $500. Of course, the column's a little too narrow. Let's make it a little wider. And the tax comes out and the shipping comes out right, and our total comes out right. If we ship it to California, well then, of course, our tax shipping is going to change, won't it? That concludes this lesson.